Hi everyone, welcome back to Berkshire Farm. My name's Frank. Thank you for clicking on our channel. I'll show you what I got going on in here. This used to be like a, I don't know, I think they might have called it like a pinch pin where they'd bring the cattle in this gate right here. Cattle or, in this case, it was cattle. I know that the previous uh, residents had cattle on, this, on these pastures. They'd bring the cattle in here, they'd fill in here, come around this way, <clears throat> and, and they would basically close them off in here and bring them around and push them up this chute, all the way up this chute to over here. I think you call it a cattle vice is where they, wow, this grass is really, really thick in here. But you can see it back over in here. It's a, like a squeeze chute. They'd trap them in there, and then that's where they would be able to uh, administ administer uh, vaccines or, or just whatever you know they need to do on the cows. And then they, the, the end of the chute there would open up, and it goes right back out into the pasture out there. And uh, Jackie and I, we really don't have any need for this over here. But I've, honestly, I've been wanting to get in here for so long. You can see right here, there's a whole tree that has come down in here since we've been here. A tree came down here. Another one came down back over here. I had to push it off the back of this, this pin back here. And it's now laying back over there behind the, the fence. But this whole thing had two by sixes. These two by sixes right here and here, they were all the way around. And I've been taking them down. You can see all the way through here. I've taken them down all the way from that post there. I've taken them all down through here and all down through this side. And then I'm getting this, this uh, cattle panel. It's, there's cattle panel, there's hog panel, uh, different types of panel in here that I'm stacking over here. I'm stacking them all over here because we will utilize them. We'll utilize them for maybe goats, pigs, so on and so forth, hopefully in the, in the near future. But these, all these two by sixes that I'm taking down are two by six by 16. And you see, I've got them all down all the way across here. I've got to get those vines off of there to get these last three out of here. <clears throat> but all the way around, I'm taking these down because they're pressure treated two by six. And right now, to my knowledge, a two by six by 16 runs over $30 a board. Over $30 right now. It's just absolutely crazy. But also you'll see in here, there's some old railroad ties. And then he's got these round, like round peel cores that go every other one. The peel cores are actually in still in pretty good shape, but these railroad ties are really in bad shape. I think they were probably in pretty bad shape when the guy put them in originally. But I am gonna try to salvage all of these round peel cores, you can see like this one, it's really in good shape still. I'm gonna salvage these, get rid of all of the railroad ties because our plan is to put probably a three-sided barn over here. Utilize this area for our barn where we can store our equipment. We just you know, even if we do end up getting some cattle, we're not going to get the, the amount of cattle that we would need something like this for. So, and the, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm utilizing these two by sixes that I'm snitching out of this old pin. Oh, there's Jackie over there, working in the garden. In the garden. You can see I'm utilizing all these two by six that I'm getting. I'm, I'm building a, an extension, like a, a back deck extension off of the main patio slab. And the reason I'm doing this is because right back over in that corner is where they're going to be putting the, the, conde the condenser for the air conditioning unit. And I, we just didn't want that down on the ground. We didn't want it down on the ground in the mud. I wanted it up where it would be protected. So that's going to be up on top of the raised deck. You can see I've got uh, my uh, redhead bolts 
all lagged into the concrete across this side. They're lagged into the concrete across the back. My two by sixes are all on 16 inch centers. And this is only going to be half of it. This is about a 12 foot section here. We all know it's about 11 feet, an 11 foot section here. And we got another 11 foot section going to come in here to eventually extend it on over to the door that goes into the, uh, the garage. I'm going to bring it on over to where you, you come out the door and onto a, a patio, which uh, um, also this is all going to be covered eventually. We're going to put a cover over it because this would be this is going to be the barbecue area in the backyard. And just to get this part done enough to where he can come in and put that condensing unit, I've got to come in here. I'm going to come off about six feet and put a, a beam right across the center of here, supported by pier blocks. And then that that should be plenty strong enough. It'd be less than six feet on a two by six. That's that's plenty. That's going to be plenty strong. About it for today guys As you can see I'm I'm ringing wet humidity's just crazy right now but um, I got my beam in and I got some blocks in underneath it and uh, it's far enough along now to where uh, as you can see we're putting trek deck this is a, com a composite trek deck and I'm just gonna get enough of this to, to come over just a little bit more so that he can set that uh, condensing unit and then when we have time, I can come back to the deck and, and finish it off as planned. Like I say, going all the way over to the door, but I'm far enough along now, I'll get some more of this, this deck on here, get them set where they go and get that air conditioning unit put in. So I wanna thank you very much for chicken, uh, clicking on our channel. And uh, for those subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing, watching our uh, videos and clicking the like button. We certainly appreciate you very, very much. And for the yous that uh, that aren't, and for those that have not subscribed, please consider hitting that side subscribe button and hitting the like button. It helps us out here on the farm. It gets our videos out in front of more and more people. Until the next time, thank you again, and God bless. <laughs>